most time. We can handle this. Final battle lies ahead. Now, it's time to engage. The time has come! Now, as one! Emblem, engage! Creatures like that common around here? They're not. I've never seen them. Nor have I heard of such monsters appearing in Lethos before. This is a land of peace. Understood. Well? Shall we fight them? As you wish, Divine One. You whose bravery knows no equal. No! Let's run. Huh? We haven't the slightest idea who they are, and we don't know how they came to be here. Also, they worry me for some reason. So, we run! I, uh, well, did the Divine Dragon really command me to retreat? Okay, get to safety! We'll keep them distracted for you! <laughs> what the? Come back! Come back this instant! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this isn't looking good! Clan! Fram! Hold on! We shall come to you! The ring! Know that my strength can be yours. I know that voice. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Divine One? Divine One! You mustn't do this alone! Don't worry! Please! I'm not alone! Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. <clears throat> Shine on! Emblem of Beginnings! Ha! <laughs> 
I am known as Marth. Emblem Marth, to be clear. Dragon? We live on the continent of Elios, four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. Firene, kingdom of abundance. Brodia, kingdom of might. Elusia, kingdom of knowledge. Solm, queendom of freedom. The land of Lethos, home of divine dragons. And Gradlon, domain of the fell dragon, fallen to ruin. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the Fell Dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us, heroes known as Emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe, but now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. If his shadow stretches across the land again, then we must fight him anew, as we did in ages past. Fell Dragon, Sombron, must be stopped. Why are you here alone? <laughs> Vander! Clan! Fram! Oh, Divine One. Thank goodness you're safe. What's happening? Tell me! Worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the <sighs> emblem rings. <laughs> Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid. Sounds like a plan. Follow me!
Made it. And not a moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firinae is here to help. Let me at him. Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you. <laughs> but how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <laughs> Time to die. Look out! over to me. Leave here at once! to you. I hoped it would be enough to bring you back to me someday. But now, it would seem that I am completely spent. Oh no, this is my fault. I did this. No, my dear. You have to push those thoughts away. There is nothing a mother wouldn't do to see life return again to her beloved child. But I... This ring, it belongs to you now. The Ring of the Holy Knight. I had so hoped to give you the ring I made as well. But that's not possible now. Listen to me, child. Those who invaded here, I sense the power of the fell dragon within them. <sighs> you must not allow them to capture any more of the rings. Please, I beg of you, gather together all twelve rings. And when your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want, but please, don't leave me. <sighs> Mother! Ah, oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. My heart is fuller than you could ever know. It can't end like this. You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there, there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. 
I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother, becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know, and I'm happy to be your child. In this moment, here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother. I need more time. <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now, let's make a promise. Mother and child, we'll make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. Mother! No! Please! This simply cannot have happened, Queen Numera. Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother! Please wake up! You promised you'd stay by my side! You have to... You have to keep your promise! Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Sailing, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis, Chloe, you can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <sighs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with Her Highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, Queenie, but our forces have taken the castle. This is the part where you tell me where you've got the ring stashed in here. Who's to say? Is it inside the castle? Out on the grounds? I'm asking all polite like. Come on! <laughs> I'm not in the habit of speaking to lowly vermin. That's all that you are, the lot of you. The mouth on this one. You think I won't get you where you stand? <sighs> huh? I'd recommend against it, darling. Lady Zephyr! After all, Her Majesty can't tell us much of value if she's dead. Now, I come bearing news. One of our soldiers said he spotted the princess fleeing before we arrived. How curious. Did you perhaps give that daughter of yours the ring for safekeeping? <laughs> oh, 
Well, isn't this tragic? We'd simply hate to resort to violence. You leave us no choice. By virtue of your silence, we will now kill every living soul in this castle one by one. Please, no! <laughs> okay, I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Sangley ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Hmm. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. You made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief. I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firne, and your ally. The Divine Dragon? and the Crown Prince of Firene. That's right. Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? I... <laughs> I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? Uh, I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene. I'm begging you, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! Finally! It took you long enough. Very rude to keep a princess waiting. Very rude indeed. Princess? That would be me. Lucia's second princess? Uh-huh, in the flesh. And you're the Divine Dragon. Oh, uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I can totally tell. You're the prettiest. It's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only Divine Dragon. You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. Wow, those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. a wonderful time playing together, haven't we, Divine Dragon? Speaking for myself, it's been lovely. So I hope you don't mind, but I brought a friend along to join in the fun. <sighs> That's an emblem. But how? How is she here without my summoning her? Look at your face! You silly Divine Dragon. Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool trick, huh? I'm so glad I'm able to use it. 
And it's all thanks to Lord Sombra and powering up this ring. It's called the Ring of the Princess Exile. <laughs> Cute, am I right? That's one of the rings my mother was protecting. Give it back! Yeah, not gonna happen. It's Illusia's ring now. But if you really want to see it one last time, come a little closer. I'll give you a good long look. said to me all those long years ago where are you brother I've been waiting for you divine one I greet you as the crown prince of Brodia I'm Diamant the Illusion Throne. I will now take your lives, your souls, and the rings. Invasions of my country come at a very high price. And now you will pay it. <laughs> Do you really think you can withstand the might of Brodia? Yes, my army is blessed by Lord Sombron himself. <laughs> Dragon's got. He is not yet at full strength. Not until the ritual. Ritual? The one by which we shall reignite his true glory. And for that, we need a sacrifice of sovereign blood. <coughs> blood thus offered <coughs> will be yours. What? <laughs> Father! Come on, Diamant. There's still time to rescue him. You have lost this battle, former King of Brodia. Well, he's not getting any lighter. Come on. We know what to do, Your Majesty. See you later. Hmm. My father. They're trying to take him away. We won't let them. 
So you say, but you are wrong. Princess Ivy! Whatever the cost, you will hold them here, child. Yes. Oh, and Ivy, don't forget that ring was given to you by our Lord Sombron. Your failure to protect it was a grievous one. <laughs> it is your duty to reclaim the ring now. I take my leave to Elusia. Do not fail me again. So, you want me to buy time for you as I die here? Very well. I die for you, father. You're not going to stop us. We have to get King Morian back from them right now. We have to. I bid you welcome to Destinia Cathedral. We're so happy to greet you, loathsome divine dragon. Spare us your lies! Alas, your presence indicates that Ivy lost her battle. A predictable outcome, of course. You don't appear to have taken her captive. I assume her body has been left for the birds. You mean my sister is dead? Where have you hidden King Morian? All will be known in due time. Tell us now! Look, over there! There's someone beside the altar! Can it be? Diamant, it's father! He's alive! Don't worry, father! We're here to save you! Something's wrong. Father! He's been... It appears you were a few moments too late. As you can see, the ritual has been carried out. Hyacinth! You bastard! We have to leave at once. Call a retreat without delay. We can't! King Morian is beyond our aid. What do you mean? <clears throat> you would have us leave our own father behind? I cannot! I will not abandon him here! The only option is to fight Hyacinth! I won't flee after... After what he has done! Diamant. Ulcrist. Foolish, but I'm not a bit surprised. <clears throat> the doors! Yes, we're trapped within. This grand cathedral will serve as your grave. Thanks to your impetuousness, you brought the rings unto my very hand. Hyacinth! You? You're a monster. That's our father! You're going to pay for this. Here and now! So be it, Hyacinth. Now we fight! <laughs> Lord Sombron! <laughs> <laughs> It seems my powers have returned because of you. It was an honor, my lord. And yet, I still hunger for more. Please, my lord, devour these fools. <laughs> Alas, I have a different meal in mind. Huh? Only sovereign blood will quell my hunger. You understand? I want your blood. And I will take it. No. No. If it isn't the Divine Dragon and their merry band. Fancy running into you here. It's you again. I know you. You're the wretch who stormed Fearnay Castle. Wretch? Not much of a greeting, that. But I guess the fault is mine for not properly introducing myself. You have my apologies for my man's actions in Fearnay. I take responsibility for what he's done. 
Take comfort in the fact I killed him myself. <laughs> As for who I am, my name is Zephia. I am a mage dragon of great power. And Lord Sombron's humble servant in all things. As for my companions here, they are like family to me. Together we are known as the Four Hounds. <laughs> you tell yourself that. She's a dragon and the rest of us are humans. Family, she calls us. The name's Gris, and I'm not the prisoner-taking type. Call me Marnie. I heard we'd be meeting some royalty today, but you look like a bunch of losers to me. I am Mavier. The pleasure is all mine. Lady Vale has told us much about you. I don't care what you call yourselves. You're in our way. Now stand aside! Come on, we can fight our way past them. Everyone, engage with emblems! <laughs> huh? The rings? Something the matter? Uh. <gasps> the Draconic Time Crystal. Of course you had it with you all along. Sorry, but I just had to take it back again. I grabbed it during your little chat with Zephia. Amazing you didn't notice. You must not be very bright. Hold on. You used it? Yes. Now all your rings are here, right where they belong. Give... give them back! Six, eh? I have to admit I'm impressed. Father, the emblem rings. <sighs> well done. Now the rings are in my possession. Good. Now to purge them of any trace of divine dragon power. To begin, the Ring of the Hero King. Marth! <sighs> Shine on, emblem of beginning. <laughs> Marth? Marth, speak to me, please! It's no use. My father's spell power is now coursing through the emblem ring. He's no longer the sweet little Marth you knew. No, please! Provide for us, emblem of the Holy War. <laughs> Sigurd! Care for us, emblem of Echoes. Heal us, emblem of Dawn. Celica! Makaya! Stop it! Just stop! Free us, emblem of genealogy! Rise up, emblem of binding! Leaf! Roy! I can't do this without you! <laughs> Say goodbye to your beloved emblems. Now they belong to us. Oh, how I wanted these two. Mark. And Sigurd. After killing Lumera, I was forced to leave them back there with you. Do you have any idea how irritating that was for me? Fail! We must retreat, Divine One! Oh. So now you want to turn tail and run? We have all your rings and you have nothing. Abandon hope. You will all die. Give them back! Give them back to me! You don't look like you're from around here. What's with the outfits? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but I took one look and thought to myself, self, they are lost. And, uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy, here to keep the peace in Tula Desert. Call me Fogato, yeah? 
As captain of the Sentinels, it's my duty to help people in need. If you find folks need a hand, just let me know. Thanks for that. As for myself, I'm the Divine Dragon, from Lethos. Why, yo? Uh, uh, you're telling me the Divine Dragon is here, in my desert? No kidding? Yes. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You weren't. There's no need to be formal with me. Didn't expect you to be casual. That's cool. Uh, but hey, what brings you all out to my piece of the world? We're on our way to Solm Palace, but we don't know how to get there. This is your lucky day. Come on, just follow me. If I know how to get anywhere, it's the palace. You don't mind? Of course I don't. You know what's out there? Sand, as far as the eye can see. And I would rather you not have to deal with that. Lucky me mad, huh? <laughs> This meat is gonna hit the spot! I hope you're hungry for fun, cause that's what's on the menu first! <clears throat> and now, an exclusive performance from the one and only... Tamara! are coming together nicely. Just a bit more practice and I'll call it a day. And this spot, it's perfect for rehearsal. So quiet and empty. <laughs> what is that? <gasps> no good. I'm trapped here. Is it my fate to die like this? It's such a pity to be caught so unprepared. I'd have practiced combat as well as dance. Hurry! You must get to safety now! Who said that? Oh, thank goodness. You can hear what I'm saying, can't you? Follow the sound of my voice. You can hide in here. There's a door to your right. Now go! Hurry! I'm coming. <laughs> From this point on, I no longer have any need of you. Sleep now, go on. Drift off into a dream. <laughs> no! Time to wake up, Lady Vale. We do need you. I know how disappointed you would be if you were to miss the bloodshed. You're a liar! Nothing like that... <sighs> Thank you for waking me, Zephyr. I've been so looking forward to having some fun. Fetch me the Ring of the Hero King. Yes, as you wish. Marth! And my hounds, prepare yourselves as well. Whatever you desire, my lady. <sighs> How exciting this is. I hope they have the endurance to at least resist a little. It's no fun if they just die. Right? Don't you agree? You know, seeing as how I don't share memories with that pathetic little girl, I simply had no idea you and I were friends now. I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. 
Your apology means nothing to me. You're not Vale. Give her back! Rest assured that I am Vale. Yes. In fact, I am Vale in her truest form. Only one of us deserves the honor of calling the great Bell Dragon her father. That honor belongs to me and me alone. <laughs> My friends, it's time to fight! Emblem Celica, it's such a relief to have you back again. <laughs> oh man, ain't this whole thing just a laugh, Riot? Sophia. That little hunch of yours was so dead on! I think it's clear you've lost your mind. Look at you acting all high and mighty. It's clear you've lost your mind. Yeah, that's cute. The real question is, have you lost yours? You're playing up this whole thing like you're a god, but you're fighting on the wrong side. Why are you staring at me with that stupid look on your face? You think you're a divine dragon? Let me set you straight. You are the child of the Fell Dragon! I am his child? No, but... How? <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are? But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh... I ordered you to stop, did I not? Such a bad girl. You are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. Marnie! Uh, here. I'm sorry. I tried to save her, but in the end, I guess I wasn't strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, Will you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Don't go. Please. Marnie! <laughs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing. Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go, and reclaim my emblem rings at once! I won't! 
So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. <laughs> My foolish child, twice now I have struck you down, but I promise you, no amount of sleep will bring you back from this moment. This time, your defeat is final. I couldn't protect you. All the times I wasn't there for you. I'm so sorry, Vale. For all those awful things I said. I don't care. I don't care about that. Please don't die. It'll be all right. There's still so much I have to do. I can't die until I've told you everything. There's still too much left unsaid. <laughs> Who I... Listen, Vale. I... you're... Uh... No, you can't! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Now there is nothing to stand in my way. The Divine Dragon is gone. That I should see this day. But how? How could this... Wait, the Dragonstone... <gasps> but why would... This wayward creature was another of my children. The one you've been searching for all this time. Your brother. The Divine Dragon took the traitor in after the events of the last war. Thus, the fool did survive. No child of mine should live as a Divine Dragon. Death was this one's inexorable fate. No! But the stone shouldn't break! The stone shouldn't shatter unless... All that time, you were my brother! I found you! I finally found you! Please don't be gone, I need to talk to you! I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me! <laughs> Such pathetic children. All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession. No! Give them back, now! Those rings belong to my brother! Their friends fought so hard even to make it here! Yet, for all of that, I control the emblem rings. Together, their power is so great. Granted once every thousand years, and now that unrivaled power is mine. Ha, 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 ha. 
War is finally over, Mother. We don't have to worry anymore. My <laughs> treacherous whelp. <laughs> I guess fell dragons have to die in the end. But I want it to be. A good dragon. Oh. <laughs> and you will. Someday life will return to you. And when that beautiful day should dawn, I will give you a birthday gift that suits you perfectly. <sighs> Thank you, Mother. If I see that day... Maybe I'll return, dressed in white. A gleaming sword at my side. A divine dragon like you. Ready to save the world. I know that. My brother believed in me. So I... I believe in myself. Shut your mouth! You are nothing but a defect. Mark my words, you quivering little baby. You're gonna be dead soon. No, I won't. You're not in control here, I am. And I won't wear this horrible thing anymore. Wait, there's already a crack in it. I'll break it. Then I get to be me again. You'll be gone! Stop, stop it right now. I don't wanna go, help me father. I beg of you! Papa isn't coming. He doesn't care. It's time now. Time to say goodbye! <sighs> 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 Lady Vale! Mavir... It's all right. I'm myself again. I wish... I could have done something. I'm so sorry. But you did it all on your own. You're wrong about me doing it alone. My brother helped me. The Divine Dragon. I have to hurry. Guardians of the Underworld, cast aside the rules that govern life and death, so that this body, void of life, may draw breath, rise up, corrupted! Dragon child, you who fought bravely even after death, would you rise once more? I want to fight. It can't end here. No matter how hard it may be, I have to continue until the world is safe. I must fight. 
like the emblems have! I have heard your wish, and thus, our power is yours. Time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once in a lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come? You told him about the shard. Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted <sighs> just like that? Does that seem fair? <laughs> Now that they know about the Shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. <sighs> the Four Hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Gris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. You drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore.
Forgive me for this. Goodness. Did you come to see me all by your lonesome? Your own child shouldn't have to strike you down. Mm, how heroic of you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk, Vale. From what I've heard, you are the little sister of my dear child. If that is the case, I am practically your mother as well. You are welcome to call me your mother, should it please you. Thank you for the kind offer. But I don't need a second mother in my life. I had one. Oh, departed is she. Tell me, what was she like? She was kind and affectionate. And there was so much love within her. But she died before I could truly appreciate what I had. She always did the best she could to keep me safe. And she told me that if Papa ever broke free, if he did, and if he started doing terrible things, as his family, I had to find a way to stop him. I suppose that means you intend to murder me yet again. Yes. <laughs> How I tremble at the memory of that fatal blow, the pain. Even worse than the pain, though, how you left my heart shattered. I was torn from the side of my beloved child. Can you imagine the depths of my agony? And had it not been for you, my dearest and I would have been together for all time. I know it's my fault. The fact that you died. All of this. Even though I was a puppet, I killed you. I stole the rings. My actions led to this. You can hate me all you want. But either way... It ends here! <sighs> oh, Vale. Was that meant to hurt? As I'm sure you have noticed, Thanks to Lord Sombron's largesse, I am far more powerful now than I was before. It's a shame, really. I honestly hope that you and I could get along. But anyone standing between me and my child cannot be suffered to live. It's ludicrous to think you might murder me for a second time. How are you so blind? I still owe you a death for the first one. Die, you little defect! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mother. That voice... Is it you, my child? <gasps> it would... seem that you've... received my ring at last. Mother! You're yourself again! You remembered... the promise that I made to you? Yes. Every word you said to me before I fell asleep. You see this? I'm one of the emblems now. My child, an emblem. I can hardly believe my own eyes. Oh, how hard you must have worked to achieve such a thing. It was tough, but I'm glad I can show you what I've become. I just wanted to make you proud. Uh, it looks like Queen Lumera is... Disappearing. The corruption is leaving her body, so now she has to go. Nothing can be done to stop it. I'm so sorry, Mother. It seems we have to part yet again. You're wrong. From the first moment that we connected, I have always been at your side. The years after I lost my family were a dark time. The pain of what had been taken was unbearable. But then I met you. And even though I missed you during your long slumber, I knew that you would wake up someday. We'd be together again. Knowing that, how could I ever feel lonely? You and I will never be apart again. I feel the same ever since we met. I've never felt truly alone, not really. You showed me the warmth of a real connection, and that is stronger than death. You have always 
been my bright, shining light. I can never thank you enough for being my child. Thank you, Mother. Getting to be your child is my greatest happiness. If we should meet again, I want to spend more time with you. Pinky, promise me. We will, child. I'll remember this promise we have made. And I'll remember you. The sky is so beautiful above me. Just like the one I saw the day you opened your eyes again. From now on, you must protect it all. Everything. Under this beautiful sky. I'm all right. Please, don't be sad for me. Mother is... is where she belongs now. I know we'll meet again. <sighs> it's time to go. We have to check the barrier. You dare turn your blade on me? You dare interfere with that which I have sought for so long? Such fatal hubris. You will pay for that accordingly. Witness how fragile your bonds really are! Uh, uh, huh? What's happening to them? I am sealing off the portal back to your world. It's what I should have done the moment you arrived here. I fear your emblem allies are too weak. They will be lost in the distortion between dimensions forevermore. <sighs> this cannot... This cannot be the end. If we must part, remember all that we have done. Marth! The emblems are... I knew I'd have to say goodbye someday, but I thought... There was time. So much for your precious emblems. In a matter of moments, the portal will be shut for good. Take comfort, for I shall inflict no further harm upon your world. Though you will die here as I have lived, in anguish, far from home. We can never go home? I've been ready to die from the start. Brodia, my land. I pray you endure. It seems Illusia will never truly know me. I'm sorry, Mother. Worry not. I have no desire to prolong your suffering. When I am finished, not one trace of me in your world shall remain, as though I was never there at all. <clears throat> I'll stop you. Is that so? Our fight isn't over. The portal's open. I can do this. If I give it my all, I can summon the emblems back to me. Look at how far we've come. Will you fight him at my side? Your faith in me gives me strength. Yes, brother. I'm with you. Fail. I'll be with you every step of the way. I can't summon emblems, and I can't turn into a dragon. But I'm a royal dragon all the same. There's gotta be something I can do to help! Yeah! We'll all be right there with you. You've done so much for each and every one of us. So this time, we're returning the favor! Imbeciles. Your scrambling is both futile and pitiful. Please, my friends. I need you all one last time. Once more, let us engage! Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! Mark! Care for us! Emblem of echoes! Celica! Provide for us! Emblem of the Holy War! Sigurd! Free us! Emblem of genealogy! Leaf! Rise up! Emblem of binding! Roy! 
Sweep across, emblem of blazing. Lynn! Restore calm, emblem of the sacred. Erica! Fight on, emblem of radiance. Ike! Heal us, emblem of dawn. Micaiah! Reignite us, emblem of awakening. Lucina! Bear your fangs, emblem of fates. Corin! Teach us, emblem of the academy. Violet! And of course, the final emblem. Connect us! Fire emblem! What? We 13 emblems stand against you with our allies. The future may divide us once more, but here and now, we fight with one heart. This fight, this moment in time is all that matters. What nonsense. You are the flicker of an ember, a dying light. You're nothing. The deeper your bonds, the greater your pain when those bonds crumble to dust. Why invite that inevitable pain upon yourself? Why allow such weakness to exist? Give up and perish, foolish child of mine. Yes, you see me as a child. Foolish and weak. And maybe you're right. Maybe that's all I am. But I am not alone. And we're stronger when we stand together. The breaking of bonds can hurt. But when the bond is reforged, it comes back as strong as ever. Or stronger. And it brings an even greater hope. If people are willing to work for it, any bond can be brought back to life. And that's what I'll do. Every single time. For however long it takes. You won't leave this place. Because we're going to stop you. Get ready, Sombron. This ends now! Today's the day of my coronation. Today, I'll be crowned the Divine Dragon King. I had hoped that all of you would be standing by my side for the occasion. But I guess not. Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! <laughs> Worth a try. I wonder if we'll ever meet again. Aha! I knew we'd find you in here! <sighs> we must have looked everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. The coronation is going to start any minute now. All right. Time to get changed, unless you're wearing that. Yeah. I guess I should, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, hurry up! Come on! <laughs> oh, okay! I'm coming, I'm coming! Someday, in the future, our paths may cross once more. Our bonds can be reforged time and again. Whenever you desire, you need only say the word. Engage!
flickering, flames are flickering in this ruined world. A promise to uphold. Will you remember me? Under the shrouded moon, silver gleams are new. Clouds are soaring high, summer winds across the sky. Heat our cold. So we never have to battle alone As we did that day of reckoning